Hello folks, welcome to the channel of Jose. Today we got a video about a why a car won't start when it's a distributor engine. And with that, it's a two different systems. Now there's a electronic ignition, and uh, which is coil packs and all computers. And this is in a little older, which is a distributor. So there's an actual mechanical piece that spins and it sends spark to a different location. So it goes to the, to the spark plug. But sometimes the cars, this one didn't want to start because the rotor, and the cab build a little coating on it because humidity got in there and what happens is when the gasket wears out or there's no gasket and you even put the uh, the rotor cap on and you tighten it down but there's no gasket humidity gets in there especially when you live next to the the beach or a city where it's always a foggy you might get some humidity going there and it's going to cause the car not to start and we're going to show you what we mean by that and how to fix that so if your car is distributor on your engine and, and it won't start you want to try this before you take it to a mechanic or you call a mechanic because it might be a simple fix that you can save a lot of money so with that let's get started okay folks so we have this toyota tercel that won't start because the rotor is contaminated with humidity and the uh, the rotor and that cap are contaminated so we're gonna try to start it and it won't turn on because we have humidity on the cap and rotor and this is the guy that is causing the problem so we're gonna have to take this apart there's three screws so uh, eight millimeters for this and we're gonna take off the cap clean it and then uh, put it back on and start the car so for that if your car is if it has a cap and rotor you might want to do this before you start calling the mechanic so let's show you how we do this so for this car we have three eight millimeter bolts that are holding the um, the cap of the distributor there's one two and three over here so we gotta take all those three out so we can remove the cap but don't unplug your wire so you don't lose the sequence so once you undo that we're gonna clean the inside of the uh, cap and the rotor that way we get rid of that contamination so we put it back on and it's gonna start so that can cause a problem the humidity in the cap and rotor can cause a problem on starting your car Okay, folks, so we have removed three eight millimeter bolts or Phillips screwdriver also can be used on this. So, but it's easier with a socket, eight millimeter socket, because once you get in, in the back over here by the air box, and remember, don't unplug your wires. All you have to do is just remove these three bolts, hold there the same length, put them aside. And now all you have to do is remove that cap so we can see how it is inside. Okay, folks, so now that we have exposed the rotor and the cap is off, we are going to be using uh, sandpaper, and I'm using 120. You can use something less aggressive, and what we're going to be using is we're going to cut a piece of it, and we're going to use it to clean the surface of the rotor where it sends the signal, and the cap, and the cap where the rotor passes through to clean in because they has built a, a crust, and it's not sending the spark through it so the reason of that is that we're going to clean those legs where this where the uh, rotor sends a signal to each spot to each wire for example this wire has a leg right here and that leg is not receiving spark so it's not sending it through the wire to the spark plug and that's why it's not starting so if your car has a rotor and a distributor cap and it won't start you might want to check this because moist has got in there and there's the seal they used to protect the moist from getting in there is no longer there so you might have this problem so if it's distributor you might want to check also this so we'll clean it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off the rotor so i can show you how it looks and how it is after we clean it and we put it back in because i can clean it right there but i want to show you how it is this is done Okay, folks, so this is the rotor, and we're going to be, this is where the spark is sent to, 
it comes in right here and it travels into this end and it looks pretty clean but we're gonna clean it and once it goes through every single leg of this so as it is rotating and it touches it goes by one of these legs it sends the the spark to, uh, with timing and if this is not receiving it because the crust is not sending it through the spark plug wire to the spark plug and that's why your car is not starting because all of these are dirty so we start with the rotor and then we clean the cap so now that we have clean our rotor now we're gonna clean the cap where it takes the spark okay folks so we have cleaned the rotor but now as you can see see that point where the rotor turns and it as it spins it, it goes by this point and it's supposed to send the spark through and it follows the spark plug wire to the spark plug but it's not doing it because this has a crust you see that so it's a sig insignificant but it's stopping the spark from building or going through to the spark plug so we gotta clean these little tabs you see that so if your car is distributor and it has a cap and rotor you might want to check the cap and rotor for this kind of stuff so we clean it and then we're gonna put it back on and see what happens because it wouldn't start earlier Okay, folks, so now that you have cleaned every single little stud inside the cap, some cars might be six, four, uh, or eight cylinders, depending on how many spark plugs it requires, is how many studs you're going to have inside for where the rotor spins and sends the signal. So each one, each wire that goes to the spark plug has a stud inside the cap, so the rotor goes around and it sends the signal, the spark, on the timing. So on the, another thing is that once you clean it, don't don't sand it down too much because you don't want to flatten it and create another problem because you just want to clean it and leave it rounded. That's all you want to do. You don't want to shape off some of that metal. You just want to clean the crust because the moist and the heat create all that. So let's put it back on and see what happens. So we have cleaned it. It's not the best, but we have cleaned it and I know if your car is a, has a distributor and you're having problems to start it up, you might want to check your cap and rotor and clean them. Okay, folks, so now you have put your, your cover back onto the distributor. You want to tighten them the bolts and don't tighten them too much because they're plastic so you might break it so just snug it give it a good tightening but don't over tighten it and then we're going to show you what we mean where the moist get in, gets in and creates a problem so this is what we mean folks you see this cracked here there's supposed to be a gasket around all the way around between the plastic and the aluminum but my distributor so old that uh, the gasket it just deteriorated and fell off slowly so now i have nothing sealing the inside so the moist gets in there and when the spark starts going it creates a little that crust and it stops sending the spark to the spark plug so i gotta take it off here and there to clean it but eventually i'm gonna have to find how to make a gasket or put a gasket on that so it stops the problem and sometimes it's a loss of power because the spark is not as strong over here. So that what, that's what happens with the distributors. So if you're having a problem with a distributor that is not, it's not turning on or you have a loss of power, you might wanna check and clean it from the inside like that. And if you have warranty, exchange it, that way you get a brand new one. So that's, let's, let's see what happens.
we show you an easy fix for this problem when your car doesn't want to start and it's a distributor and it has a cap and rotor you want to take the cap and rotor apart and clean them because it might build a crust and it might stop the uh, spark from traveling the pattern to the spark plug and or it, you might get a weak spark into the spark plug so you might lose, lose power so if your car has a distributor and you have a cap and rotor depends on the cylinders you might want to take that off give it some maintenance don't scrape it too much because then you wear it down and then the gap becomes bigger so now you're creating a problem you just want to clean it and if you got warranty you want to exchange it and see if that's the problem because sometimes it's a simple pro solution to a simple problem that can get you to spend a lot of money when you can do this at home and save you headaches and, and money to your wallet. So if you like this video, give us thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in El Canal Echano Jose.